And we're live, coming from you outdoors, because we're about to use the doors. This one, this thing. All right. We need a towel. You've been using it. And we also need the doorway. Now, you got to open up the doorway away from where we're standing. So you see my door here, it opens in. I want to stand on this side of it. If it were the other way, I'd be inside the building. I'm only outside because this door opens that way. So when we have the tent from the hole, the door closing. All right. So take a moment. I'll give you like a minute here. I want you to find a spot in your domicile where this is the situation. You have a door that closes reliably. Uh, Maybe it's your door to the exterior. If so, lock it so nobody opens it up from the other side. Um, I'm thinking in my place, this would be the bathroom door. This would maybe be my bedroom door. And just make sure you're on the side that it opens away from. I'll give you a moment. Get that towel. Get yourself on the doorway. You're not going to need to see me during the workout. I'll make sure of that because I realize the situation implies you're probably not looking at the screen or the phone. So go ahead and maybe get a mobile situation, your iPad, uh, your cell phone, log into the live on that and get yourself to that doorway. And I'll be here chilling. I'll give you about a minute to find that spot. Uh, this will work today with two people or one or multi. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make sure we have a little bit of work in between every set that is not on the towel. Uh, so if you got two people, you could trade offsets on that towel setup. All right. But for now, you see what's going on. Those of you who just joined us, get yourself to a door that closes in your place reliably. Doesn't need to be perfectly airtight. Doesn't need to be an exterior door. And put yourself on the side of it that it opens away from. My door opens in. I'm standing on this side of it so that when we pull the tension from the towel, we're pulling the door closed. If you got any questions, put them in the comments right here. I'll be able to holler at you. And why don't you just say hello in the comments anyway, so I know this thing is functioning today. We did have some technical difficulties in the past 48. So holler at you, boy. Otherwise, get that door ready to roll. Welcome. I see the viewer count going up a little bit. Those of you who just entered, I'm giving you time to get yourself in a doorway and grab a towel. So we got the bath towel, the beach towel, whatever. Mark, what's up? Lovely. We got a squad. Get by the door. Make sure you're standing away from the direction it closes. Sorry, opens. My door opens that way, so I'm standing on this side of the doorway. When we pull it towards us, we're closing the door. All right, so get yourself in that situation. Kevon's in the house too. What's up? And as I mentioned already at the very beginning, I'll make sure you don't need to see the screen while we're doing the movements. I'll just be demonstrating them in between sets. So get your device wherever you need to have it so you can hear me. And then we'll, we'll be demonstrating in between sets because you won't be able to really look at that door. Or sorry, you won't be able to look at the screen while you're dealing with the door. All right, let's get into it. It is a pull day. That's why we have this suspension simulated setup going on. And depending on the feedback you give me from today, we might be using this setup more in the future, building upon it. This is one of those next, uh, oh shit, we're in quarantine. How many creative ways can we use our space situations? So just let me know what's up. Did this work for you? Did you feel safe? Is it not good for your place? It might not be. I know in my place back home, there would be probably two spots I could do this safely at. Uh, cool, let's do it. Get your towel.
and this is how we're going to do the top, all right? Find the short side. And as you can see in testing, mine stayed pretty tight. This is difficult to unravel it. So you should feel some confidence in your setup. So I'm taking the corners on the short side. Okay. I'm bringing those corners in. And I'm going to go like I'm starting to tie my shoes. And I'm going to put one through the other. And a little loose bundle in the middle. I'll show that step one one more time. I've got my corners like so. I'm bringing one around the other, like I'm starting to tie my shoes until it gently ends on itself. All right. Next step, you still got the corners. We're going to do the same thing again. So a second little loop -dee. Now we get a tighter ball. I'll show that second step one more time. After we have the initial ball, I'm going to go corner in the other corner. Wow. We, so we've got the double knot. This one, we're really going to crank on. So get it tight. All right? It's important that we make this ball secure enough to keep ourselves safe on the door. Uh, this should do it. Now, of course, we're going to be pulling tension from both sides. It'll be getting compressed in the door like so. I'll be pulling my body weight that way. What we'll get is a nice self-securing situation. That's wonderful. You got your double knot, two loops. The rest of the cloak is ready. Now I'm going to put it over top of the open door. And then I'll open it up wide. So as few folds as possible on the top of the door. Check me out. I'm out here. I'm looping it over top. And then I spread it out to the sides. until I have as close to a single layer of fabric across as possible. I have a couple folds, it is what it is. And then I'm gonna forcefully close that door. Making sure again, we're closing it towards us, it opens away from us, that's the safest way to orient ourselves for this setup. Uh, then, there's a little slip room, so I'm gonna pull each end of the towel until I can feel that knot stopping it on the other side. And if you wanna get real confident, you're going to get close and you're going to use your body weight to sit into it a little bit. If you have a lock, go ahead and set it right now so nobody on the other side fucks your setup up. And here we have our homemade bath towel suspension rig. Give it a couple pulls. Make sure you feel confident about it. If you need to reset, go ahead and reset. Good, give it a couple tugs. Make sure it holds your body weight at least a little bit. And the last step is to clear hazards from behind. So I've moved my table a little bit out of the way. That's so in the off event somehow that my setup fails, uh, I'll have some room to catch myself and I won't be hitting the corners of anything. So uh, just, just be aware of where you're at. If you'd like to put some soft stuff behind you just in case, that's great. You're doing this at your own risk. Um, but this is what we got to do right now. Get creative with the space. Okay. That's plenty of time, right? We set it up well. Anybody need more time? Need help? Comments? Holla at me. Keep on the same mark. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. We're going to start with a fake row. Real simple. We'll do the fake row and then we'll do the full cuffing and the shoulder blades. I'll stay here close to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Pull the shoulder blades back, squeeze, pull the elbows back. You can imagine what it's going to be like on this setup, pulling the towel towards ourselves. As ready as my door can be. Good, good. Now, if you hear the door cracking, maybe press pause on this one, figure something else out. There's always a possibility of the setup failing, even if you buy nice workout equipment and it's metal and it's bolted to the floor. There's always a chance. So just be aware, stay in tune. Here we go, pull back, 
Big chest, squeeze the fists, reach forward, chin down, inhale. Pull back, shoulder blades squeeze, lift the chest, inhale with the reach. Pull, squeeze, it's all about that gap getting closed today, reach out. Pull, squeeze, reach, pull, squeeze, reach. And we keep going here, big chest, open up, reach, spread the tips. Give it a big pull, chest out, squeeze the blades back, inhale, reach, chin down. Pull, make a fist, open up, reach, straight arms, chin down, bad posture. Pull, big chest, open up, chin down, big reach. Pull, squeeze, ribs out, open up, chin down, thumbs down. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Let's get another 10. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Nine, make sure you do enough to feel it. Reach, flex. Eight, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Seven, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Six, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Five, pull, squeeze the blades, reach, flex. Four, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Two more, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Last one, pull, squeeze, reach, flex. Now we're getting into the rotator cuff, the full cuffing situation. Oh shit, Douglas, what's popping? Uh, quick tutorial for you. Everybody else right now, as I describe and show Douglas what's popping, we're gonna do the full cuffing. So that's where we take the knuckles behind the love handles, we roll the elbows forward. Then we open up, let them slide away, and reach back with the fingertips. Rotating the upper arm as far as we can in one direction, and as far as we can in the other. I'll give you one minute, nice and slow. Let's go. In the meantime, Douglas, let me show you the setup. We need a door. We need to be on the side of it that closes. So this one opens away. I'm on this side of things. Then, get a towel. Keep going with the shoulder blade work, if that's where you're at. We need a towel. And I'm taking the short side the two corners on the short side, all right? I'm gonna make one bundle, like I'm starting my shoe tie. So just a regular pull, doesn't need to be tight. The second one should be tight. Do it a second time. So one loop, two loops. Pull nice and taut like so. Then we're gonna set that not over the door. Spread it out wide, close the door, pull it for confidence, use your body weight, make sure it handles you. And the final step is to make sure you know it's behind you just in case the setup does fail. That's time on the shoulder blade warm up. Let's proceed. We're all gonna do a minute of raising the sails so we can warm up the lats. I'm here, you can stand, sit, whatever. I'm reaching as high as I can with one arm, curving the spine to get an even bigger lat stretch. Tight fist, pull, and keep raising the sails. We got a minute, let's go. I'm starting slow, I'm gonna get faster through the minute. But the priority is biggest range of motion. Make sure you reach all the way up, reach, Reach out of your shoulders, lift the spine, make some traction happen. And of course, as always, we grab with a tight enough fist to feel a little forearm warm up. So use your imagination. Imagine a rope with a pulley and something on the end of it that's heavy. 
We're halfway through. I'm going to speed up a little. You go as fast as you want. Anybody who just joined, new, Douglas included, any questions on the towel setup? Or are we good to go? Good. Relax that. Awesome. Next for warm up, we do the same thing, but we're rowing forward. So the torso, pull, reach and twist the torso. One minute, cool, that was, that's good. Everybody else is good. Let's move on to this horizontal speed rowing. One minute, begin. Make sure it's the spine that's twisting and not the lower body. Keep that stock. And I'm working the upper only. Every pull, get the shoulder blades back. Every reach, get the elbows straight. And grab that rope and pull. Big reaches. Speed is good here as we get the heart rate prepared. Keep moving. Last piece of the warm-up. I'm here with the T. I'm making very small rearward circles. So if you see me from the side, I'm wax off right there. Wax off. The whole time I've got the gap squeezed. And these little mini wax offs. For one minute, the smaller the range of motion, the better. Begin. Keep it up, fast and small. Get those delts to burn. 20 seconds. And we got them. Relax. Very good. All right, beginning with the towel work. Like I said, I'm going to show you everything for a sequence first. Then I'll just talk you through it because I believe most of your setups, you won't be able to see the screen while we're doing this with this setup here. So here's the first move. The most basic one we got. We do it all the time at the gym with our suspension rigs. I'm gripping the towel at their ends right here, like a collar, right? We're not making a bundle yet. We will do that. I've got it nice and wide, and my two hands are holding the outside with my thumb forward, all right? Make sure it's symmetric, so you might have to gather one side more than the other. And we're going to walk our feet forward so that if we let go, we would fall. Here's the move, basic row. Go all the way out. Today, we're going to let our shoulder blades roll lazy. Let me get the sun so you can see me. We're going to let the shoulder blades roll all the way and then squeeze them back and pull. All the way straight, shoulder blades roll, squeeze them back and pull. If it doesn't feel like much weight, you can bring your feet closer to the wall. Feet closer, more difficult. Try it. Find that spot that you like. The move in between is that wax on, wax off situation. But this time, I'm going to bend over about 45 degrees at my waist. Get the arms behind my body. 
and do the tiny circles. Okay. It's 30 seconds of the towel, 10 seconds to switch, 30 seconds on the arm circles. You dig? And it looks like there's a nasty delay between video and audio right now. I'm trying a higher quality. If you need help, just holler in the comments. So the two moves, you got if you got two people, you're gonna alternate them. If you're solo like me, you're gonna do one, rest, and then the next, and I'll talk you through it. Starts in 10 seconds. Get ready. And 10, nine, eight, three, two, begin. If you're on the towel, you're getting as many rows as you can during the 30 seconds and make sure they're quality. Shoulder blades move, arms go straight all the way. And feel the strength, feel the upper back strength working. The grip strength also is a big limiter on this one. As we found out last week, the towel is tough to grab. Good, 10 seconds to switch. Next, we're moving to these circles, the rearward circles. In three, two, one, go. Try to keep the elbows behind your body the whole time. Don't let them drift in front of your body. You can imagine being on the floor in the Superman Three, two, one. Got it. Ten seconds to switch. I'm back to the towel. The same rows again. And three, two, begin. Halfway through. Shoulder blades are already burning for me. We're gonna get a lot of volume today. Good, relax. 10 seconds to swap. We're back to those circles next. Three, two, begin. Let's go. Keep the elbows straight. Feel the delts burn a little bit. I've got it. For sure. Woo! These might be harder than the, the rows with the towel. Three, two, one, relax. Oh, 10 seconds to switch. We're back on the towel. Bigger range of motion is better. In three, two, go. This one's gonna kill, I can tell already, round three. So stick with me. We've only just begun. Ah. Five seconds. Woo, relax. Back to those baby circles in five, four, three, Two, let's move. Straight arms, elbows behind the body, like we're in Superman. And rearward circles, circles back. Halfway through. Ah. Ten seconds. Get those elbows up. I can feel mine drifting. Three, two. One, right there, right on that rear delt strip. Back to the towel in five, four, three, two, go. If it's easy, step closer to the wall, lean more. 
If it's difficult, take a step back. Let's go, get those reps. You got 10 seconds. Woo, relax. Circles again. We just passed the halfway mark on this initial sequence. I'm feeling my grip, get toasted already. Begin. Small, fast repetitions here. Elbows straight, shoulder blades squeeze back. Stay leaned over so we get those rear delts. Five seconds. Woo! This sucks. Ah, oh, relax. To the towel in five. Begin. seconds. Get the reps in. Go fast. Oh, relax. Get ready for the circles again. This is my least favorite. These circles here killing me. In three, two, go. Twenty seconds. Yeah. Fifteen. Arms high. Ten. Get those arms up. Don't be lazy. Come on. There's no weight. Just the arm weight. And relax. Ten seconds. One more beat till we take a little break. Begin. on the mini circles for this round at least and begin go circles then we take a break so let's push the limits here with this one faster and smaller and further behind the body Ooh. halfway through oh. Five seconds, keep moving, keep moving quick. Relax. Now we chill. Grab a sip. Get ready for the next set of moves. How's the door working out for everybody? If you got issues, hit me in the comments. We'll see if we can troubleshoot together. Awesome. If you're not cooked, you got to go faster. You got to do a bigger range of motion. You got to be more aggressive with the pace. Every single workout so far we've done here with the quarantine series, because we're out of our big heavy stuff, we have to create force and other methods. It's not going to be the mass, right? So it's got to be some acceleration here and there. I was accelerating the hell out of those little mini circles. I felt it, for sure. <laughs> what does the door have to say about it? Let me show you the next series. Here we're going to get a little bit heavier. We're going to slow it down. Now make the bundle. Now I've got the double bundle. And we're going to work these one-handed rows now. 
Everything's the same. The feet get close to the door. The elbow's close to the body with this one. We're not going to rotate. Watch me for a couple. We simulated this on the pole day, the pole buddy day recently with Adam. Uh, I believe it was number six. So if you did that one with your buddy, you understanding this mechanic here. I'm going to put my feet right up against the wall, right up against the door. I have that one-handed grip. I'm going to sit and slowly, without twisting, I'm going to straighten that arm. Until my arm is straight. What I'm not doing is twisting here. I'm staying square. And then I pull. And if we've put our feet close enough, there is not a rest position with this one. When we finish the row, we're still leaning. So prepare to feel that. Okay. If it's way too heavy, just take a step back and do it out here. No worries. All right. This one we're gonna do in repetitions, so make sure you can hear me. I'll guide us through. We're gonna do a countdown. 10 per arm, nine per arm, eight per arm, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and so on, all right? In between, while we give our partner that chance. We're gonna do a 30 second raise the sails all right so if you're solo like me in between those rounds we're raising the sails if you're with a partner you're just going to swap those two locations and you better finish your reps in the 30 seconds because that's all i'm giving you okay so somebody get on the towel first Getting that timer ready? How about 45? We'll do 45 seconds. That's a little more generous. So we got to do each rep and, you know, no more than two seconds. All right. If you're solo, we're going straight to the 10 plus 10. If you're with a partner, and your partner has started in the towel. You're raising the sails fast while you're waiting for the round. In three, two, begin. And I just ripped my towel. Very nice. Ten. Nine. it out. Your partner's going to get 10 and 10 while you raise the sails. In three, two, let's go. 45 seconds of raise the sails. Keep it fast. Now we're doing nine per R, nine of those reps, while your buddy raises the sails. In three, two, begin. We 
got 20 seconds to finish. Three, two, one. Good. Now your partner gets nine and nine. If you're solo, you're raising the sails like me. In three, two, go. Reaching the arms all the way straight. Keep it fast. Now we have eight and eight. Eight per side with the one arm row. In three, two, begin. Five seconds left. Eight on the other arm. And there's time. Good. Swap it out. Your partner gets eight and eight. Otherwise, you're raising those sails. Three, two, go. Good, fast, consistent speed. And get the arms all the way straight at the top. Reach to the sky. Swapping out, now we have seven per arm. Seven per arm. In three, two, go. Twenty-five seconds left. Switching in five, four, three, two, got it. Now your partner gets seven and seven while we raise the sails. In three, two, begin. Heating up the front delts a little bit. Keep it a heart moving. Woo. Let's go. Relax. Now we're on to the sixes. We'll do the sixes and the fives, and then we'll move on. Three, two, begin. Six per arm.
other side. 25 seconds. Very nice. Swap it out. Raising the sails. Six prime in three, two, let's go. Get the arms straight. Reach all the way up. Your shoulders should be heated. That's what we're looking for. If this were easy, we wouldn't be doing it. Push through the fatigue, I'm starting to feel. Go, go, good, relax. Our final round of the one arm rows, five and five. Maybe you make this one the heaviest by walking the feet closer to the door, grabbing the grip further down the towel towards the end. Five and five, starting in three, two, go. Slow and controlled. seconds. Ah, very nice. We're going to swap it out. If you're solo, join me and let's get a bonus five plus five on the rows. If you're in a team, Go ahead and swap it and get the raising of the sails in the meantime. In three, two, go. Ten seconds left. Keep raising the sails. I'll get the next timer ready. <sighs> Very nice and relax. And relax. We did the hard, strong stuff. We did the initial hit. We got a good, solid warm-up. We understand a new setup that we may use in the future. I'm going to have to get my other towel because I'm ripping the shreds out of that one. Hopefully, you're all less heavy than me. Okay, final series. It's again, 30 on, 10 off to switch. We will need a wall for this next thing. So I'm using the wall right next to my door. Maybe you have the same situation. Uh, but prepare to have a little bit of wall space for kind of a half-assed wall sit. We're gonna do our wall sit back lift that we did on that very first pull day with Josh. Uh, and on the towel, we're gonna do these rear delt raises the Y's also we've done on the wall recently. We're going to get four of each. So that means eight rounds of this timer. And this will be the finisher for us. Let me show you the two moves. The wall sit back lift, you should all be oriented with this one already. I'm not as low as I would be for a wall sit, right? I have my elbows out a little bit as if I'm going for the bench press or, uh, or the push-up posture. So we use that. Get the butt a little bit off the wall. Get the spine off. We have these little pulses. All right. We're going to move through that for 30 seconds. 
we'll get a 10 second swap. And then we're going to get into this final Y move with the towel. I'm back to gripping the outsides. But now instead of the thumb into the door, I'm putting the thumb underneath the towel towards me. All right, so this is our grip, like two hammers. Then I'm going to test it. This one, we're not going to get very close with our feet. It's much heavier. So we're a lot closer to, uh, sorry, we're a lot further away with the feet to the door. Watch me for a couple. I have my arms out straight, and I'm spreading the towel left and right. And then in the direction of my thumbs, I make a Y with my hands, and I'm up. And at this point, we should almost be balanced. There should be very minimal lean back, because at the end, there's going to be a lot of force there to handle. Lean back, come up. Lean back, come up. I'll angle the camera a little bit, show you over here. The entire time the elbows stay straight, and this is the movement from here. That's the move. Keep the body flanked. <sighs> Four rounds of each, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds to swap. I'll tell us when to do it with my timer. But let's get in place for the first thing. Final sequence of the workout, eight rounds to go. Beginning in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, let's go. Get those reps for 30 seconds. And on the towel, you've got your arms straight the whole time. 10 seconds left. Five. Relax. Next, we're on the wall. If you got a buddy, you just swapped positions. In three, two, one, go. Tiny reps. Chest out, shoulder blade back. Woo! You should feel this one in the rhomboids, the space between the shoulder blades. This is great for our push-up stability. And we'll get back to push-ups very soon. Five seconds. Oh. To the towel again. Or whatever else you didn't just do with your partner. This is round two of four rounds. Begin. Those rear delts and those upper traps. A little control on the way down will go a long way. And I just ripped. Some more. Cheap towel. <laughs> Disclaimer. Do it on your own risk. There it is. I'll show you the towel, towel afterwards. It's getting destroyed. Uh, in three, two, begin. Oh. Fifteen, halfway. Ten seconds. Shoulders back, chest out. Five, four, three, two, relax. Back on the towel. And three, two, one. Wow. Uh, 
Good. Relax. Moving to the wall, sit back, left. In three, two, one, go. Second to last time on this. Hang in there. Halfway. time on each of the moves. Begin. Ten seconds. Let it burn. Five. Relax. One move remains, and that's it. And we win. No extra burnout today. So let's make this last one quality. Let's go. To the end. Let's go. Faster, stronger, move it. Finishing the workout. Wait for that bell. Woo! There it is. Relax. Oh. Oh. Yes. Lovely. We've done it. Let me show you the destruction here. Not intended. If you experienced anything similar, I do apologize. This is the cheapest towel I could find. Hopefully yours is a little bit higher quality. Uh, let me know in the comments how the door setup worked for you. Did you rip? I know I've been putting this towel through some abuse this week, testing these workouts. Um, lifting Adam off the floor, lifting myself off the floor. How'd it go? Let me know. Hopefully we didn't rip the towels too much. Oh, cool. No, Mark. Nice. Mark Nassim confirming a ripless experience. This is great. I just have a problem with that. I've got like bad luck. I'm ripping my shorts on occasion. Douglas, you confirmed too? Lovely. That was great. Thanks for sticking with me. Solid pull day. And as with all these pull days, we got to get super creative. So expect more oddities next pull day. Let's get strange. <laughs> Maybe rip some muscles, some joints, but not the towel. Ugh. All right. Maybe I'll refine the, uh, the setup a little bit. Maybe it was just my towel. <laughs> yeah, we want to tear the muscles a little bit. That's a good thing for those ribs. That was great. I feel awesome. Got a little sunshine in the meantime. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you, Mark. It was good to have you join today at the live. Thanks for giving us input in the comments. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day. Eat something good. Eat something fun. Drink a bunch of water. Maybe get outside in the hours of remaining sun. Uh, do something nice for each other. You've already done something nice for me. Whenever you show up to this live, it makes my day. It makes me feel like I've got a purpose still. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it, Doug. And one last request. Our app is live. It is called The Nomad Workout. The Nomad Workout. Live on the App Store, available for iOS right now. Give it a free download. Give us a nice rating and a review. Uh, that's massively helpful to get it out there. 
because uh, a lot of people need this thing right now to keep ourselves sane, keep ourselves healthy, keep the fitness going while we're stuck at home without the most orthodox sets of equipment. So uh, help us get the word out there. It is free right now due to the crisis. We think people need this. So feel free to spread the word. Anybody who's got iPhone and internet access, that's where it's at. Thanks a ton. Love you guys. Have a lovely day. And tomorrow at 1, shall we? I think we shall. I guess I'll see you then. Mwah.